the Ocean Course at Kiowa. In the lowlands of South Carolina lies Pete and Alice Dye's masterpiece, where the alligators are almost as scary as the golf course itself. This is my first trip to Kiowa, and I'm excited to see what lies under the dunes. The Ocean Course is regarded as one of, if not the most difficult golf course on the entire planet. Pete, you know, any opportunity he had certainly gave legitimately credit to his wife, Alice. They were true partners, not just in life, but also in designing this golf course. You know, Pete was here every single day, and one of the things that made him unique as a designer was not certainly that he was, he was not designing golf courses on a computer. You know, Pete was, was in the field. Pete was here every day. Pete was on a tractor. Uh, Pete was directing the grounds crew. Pete was involved in every detail and moving plants here or there. But his wife, Alice, may have had as much of an impact on the ultimate uh, product of the golf course as, as Pete did. And he would be the first one to tell you that when she suggested that he raise all the heights of the fairways and raise the heights of the greens, particularly on the back nine, which allowed folks to see the beauty of the Atlantic Ocean and the beauty of the dunes, uh, but also made the golf and the golfers much more exposed to the wind. So she deserves as much credit for, for that aspect of it and a lot of other details that went into the golf course. You know, anybody can build a hard golf course, but to build a hard golf course that people want to come back to and try it again and play it again and enjoy playing is really a testament to Pete's uh, genius. 32 years ago, the course was designed specifically to host the 1991 Ryder Cup. It was an unprecedented decision that led to one of the most memorable Ryder Cups to exist, known as the War on the Shore. The Ocean Course is also the home of great Lynx player Rory McIlroy's second major win, which was at the 2012 PGA Championship. Now, just nine years later, with the PGA returning to the Ocean Course and Rory McIlroy fresh off a win, Will his weathered yardage book take him to a fifth major? Proof that the Ocean Course is a verifiable major championship layout is that it hasn't been lengthened ever. One of the key facts about the Ocean Course is that it really shows its teeth under major championship conditions. From its inception, it was designed at just under 8,000 yards, perhaps foreshadowing Pete Dye's understanding of where the game of golf would go. The logic of the length of this course in the 90s was centered around one of the course's best defenses, wind. Not only is the wind here strong, but it changes its mind all too often. The very tee boxes allow the course setup committee tremendous creativity when laying out the course, depending on which way the wind will blow on any given Sunday. I see a golf course that evolves every day. Uh, and that's one of the things that Pete also understood. You know, from, and one of the things he talked about a lot was, and he was famously said that the golf course, this golf course walks. And the reason that is, is because we, we have maintained turf and then we have natural areas. And the natural areas are sand and dunes and the native grasses and things like that. And when we, obviously we get lots of wind here uh, and when the wind blows, the sand blows. Um, so the golf course is constantly evolving, it's very, uh, common here to have one day where it blows out of the northeast at 30 miles per hour, the next day it's calm, and then the next day it blows at a completely different direction. So the golf course can be completely different from day to day. So 2012 PGA, uh, three of the days was very light wind, and the pros pretty much had their way with the course. The Friday round, uh, the wind was blowing. I believe the highest gust was 28 miles per hour and it was the hardest single day in major history uh, as far as stroke index. So to clarify what Mark just said, 78, six strokes over par was the average score during the second round of the PGA in 2012. And somewhat fantastically, the man who went home with the Wanamaker Trophy, Rory McIlroy, shot 66 on Sunday to win by a margin of eight strokes. The buzz of what's going on right now with all the construction and seeing all the tents go up. You know, when they started putting the flags up around the golf course, you know, and the signage, that's when you really start to feel like, okay, you know, it's starting to really look like it's going to look. And, and, uh, and it's exciting. You know, it's, it's always exciting here, but this is particularly exciting. This is the second time we, we've had a PGA Championship, and 
and we're, we're as excited for this one as we were for the first one in 2012. We're very proud of, of what we have here and uh, it's, we think it's pretty special, you know, and have an opportunity to kind of have a lot of other people experience that same thing, you know, in a, in a small way is, is probably the thing that we um, enjoy the most about it. For all of us on the golf staff and then all of the caddies, we're just interested to see where they hit it, you know. <laughs> we're interested to see how they score, you know. We're excited to see what the weather might be. Adding to the mystery of the dunes at the Ocean Course is its involvement in golf cinema history. The Legend of Bagger Vance was filmed here at Kiowa. Um, the famous uh, final hole was actually here at the Ocean Course. Uh, they did some filming at a couple of the other golf courses and they also did some filming down in uh, Hilton Head, a golf, golf course called Colleton River. And that was a, very exciting for us. You know, you had movie stars, Will Smith out playing golf with us every day, and, um, and, and Charlize Theron was, was around, so those were, those were pretty exciting days. I mean, they actually built a hole for that movie. That's not one of the holes on the golf course. After the movie was, was over, uh, nature just reclaimed that hole, and it's completely gone now. So it only lives, it only lives on film. Every golf course has a story to tell. Visiting them with my camera and my crew has been the passion of my life. And the ocean course at Kiowa, like some of the best courses in the world, proves that there is something special under the dunes here. How the tournament will play out this week and who will leave with the Wanamaker is perhaps a secret that only the wind can tell, but the dunes know. Tune in this week as I attempt to break 90 from the tips at the ocean course at Kiowa.